Like most people, I wear eye makeup on my eyes, but I don't hate myself as soon as I wipe it off. You can't just sit there and say to people, well, I'm happy with my stretch marks, so you have to be happy with yours right now, or you're part of the problem. <sighs> All right, internet family, uh, this is one of those videos where I'm gonna need your input and I'm gonna need your comments, your opinions. I don't have all the answers, but I need to discuss a bit of hypocrisy and there's a lot to unpack here, but we're gonna try. Evidently, I am a pale ass Irish woman and not so evidently, thanks to makeup and the light situation, I am covered in acne scars. I have keratosis pilaris on my legs. I have some sexy purple bruising on my legs. I have a lot of stretch marks. I have that kind of pasty Irish skin, you know? If you follow me, it goes without saying that I love makeup, but I feel comfortable enough to leave the house without it most days of the week, which I share regularly on Instagram stories and the like. And you know, I usually don't bother with fake tan, but I indulge on occasion and I would never judge anyone for enjoying being more tan looking. It would seem that us humans often want what we don't have. And yeah, in my time I have dabbled with body makeup, usually the Dermablend body makeup. I don't even know if that's on sale anymore. I just have a big old bottle of it there. And I also have a huge purple mark on my left leg and the doctors don't really know what it's from. They said it's not dangerous, it's not a birthmark. I think it's extremely important to embrace your flaws. I know that I have this big purple mark on my leg, but the society that we live in, I just feel better when it's covered up and I don't have to kind of focus on it. So enter Kim Kardashian's new body makeup. So guys, I have gone through gallons and gallons and gallons of body makeup on Kim over the years, but let me show you quickly um, how we do body makeup on her. I don't want shimmer on my legs all the time. And when I go out and sometimes I just want to cover up like if I have a bruise or my psoriasis or whatever. Admittedly, she is not one of my favorite people, far from it. I've called her out in the past on her slimming lollipop bullshit. Um, however, I'm feeling a little bit defensive today. And I don't know, is it because I'm so kind of tired of seeing women who profess to be feminists tearing other women down for their decisions? Or is it because I'm just getting a little bit fed up of the hypocrisy, you know? Where is the line? Shut up! That's what we're asking with this video and that's what I want us to kind of discuss in the comments. Kim's body makeup came under massive fire this week and you know she said that she likes to wear it to cover up bruises or psoriasis so she's kind of started this discussion around the insecurity a lot of us feel over these very normal common skin conditions. People came out in their droves to tear Kim apart and not only her but people who wear body makeup and lots of white men who love nothing more than to fiddle with themselves while looking at women doused in makeup. Anyway. Perfect for anyone with a job where you don't wear pants <laughs> or touch any furniture. Jamelia is one of the people who spoke out against this and I got into a little bit of a back and forth with her on Twitter. Thankfully it remained quite calm and polite but um, she's someone who, you know, I think she has good intent and usually I get quite behind her. You know, she's behind the whole I Way movement. Her message lines up very much with mine. You're more than how you look, you're not defined by your weight, all that kind of stuff. She tweeted that she would rather just make peace with her million stretch marks and her eczema. She said taking off her mascara is enough of a pain in the arse. It was essentially discouraging people from buying this body makeup and a lot of people felt immediately shamed by this. And she's not the only person who kind of came out and said this. Like there are lots of people either side of this debate. And you know, this whole video is not about the body makeup. It's about a much broader conversation that this has kind of brought up about why we care about how we look and why there are people trying to act as gatekeepers here. And uh, yeah, so. Yes, yeah, so you have a lot of people feeling immediately shamed for not being at that point of confidence in their journey through life where they feel very comfortable in their natural bodies and stuff like that. My internet pal Caroline Hirons kind of clapped back and she said, stop assuming you know all women and stop assuming you speak for all of us unless you speak to people with debilitating and painful skin conditions on a daily basis, stop. Also, some people just like to wear makeup. It's not devastating. And rightfully she pointed out that Jamelia wears makeup obviously on her face, but this is kind of what I want to talk about here. Um, for example, real quick, I found myself even in the past um, making quite hypocritical statements. You know, a friend of mine got a boob job and lip fillers and me being me, I had plenty to say about that. And then I kind of took a step back and I was like, well, you know, I dye my hair, I wear makeup, I wear 
clothing, like most human beings do. There's research to show that humans only started wearing clothes about 170,000 years ago and that it wasn't actually because we needed to keep warm. It is fascinating when you look at the things that human beings do that are not, you know, natural. Cosmetics have been around for thousands and thousands and thousands of years. You know, people not liking their natural smell, so they'd be figuring out all sorts of things with oils to cover up the smell, and lining the eyes and using eye makeup to make your eyes look bigger because science shows that people are very attracted to big eyes and so, I don't know, something to do with babies having, I, bleh, it's all weird, but I think you get where I'm kind of gonna go on this little rant. I find it very frustrating when people with good intentions go down this route of kind of telling people what to do and making people feel judged and shamed for their choices over how they look when we're all here fighting the same fight for bodily autonomy and whatever. Instead of just leading by example, you know, I am all about seeing diversity, seeing natural skin, natural bellies, natural bums, natural bodies. I think we really have to reassess how we're going about this. Why is it that we're getting so behind drag and people being super into makeup, makeup artistry, wearing wigs, you know, you know, all that stuff. Yes, it's time consuming, it's expensive, but it's fun. And then on the other hand, we're choosing to bash people who have insecurities that are very valid like I had acne for fucking years and I still have the scars there I'm in the process of getting micro needling treatments to get rid of those scars even though I came to a place where I accepted them I still see life as being very short and I, I want to feel as good as I can in the skin that I'm in that's why if I'm going to an event I love getting done up I love getting my hair done so does Jamelia so does so many people speaking out about this fucking body makeup just for for likes and retweets it seems to stand against something and someone that being Kim Kardashian rather than standing for something and just kind of I don't know like I like how I go about it if you want people to feel comfortable in their natural selves just show yourself looking like that and don't constantly point out how bad you look that's what I've been working on doing for years like in my monthly vlogs now I film a lot my natural frizzy messy hair and no makeup on my brows not done I don't edit my body in photos yeah like if anything with this I feel like Kim showing herself applying body makeup that's not her telling every single person that they have to go and buy body makeup she's showing people that it's not real that her skin doesn't naturally look like that um and I do think that's a good thing the more that young people understand how much of a construct someone like Kim is um, the less they're gonna have that comparison. Do you know what I mean? Like there are a million and one options of things that people can spend their money on out there that proclaim to enhance their beauty and their confidence and whatever. And we need to let individuals make their own choices, make their own mistakes and figure out where their line is. Because your line is not the same for everyone else. You can profess to have walked in everyone's shoes. Let's take baldness as an example, you know. Um, so many men are so ashamed of their hair receding and they're going getting hair transplants and wearing wigs and all this kind of stuff and then you know if women go through cancer treatment and they go bald they'll often go and get a wig the reason they're doing that is because of how society views baldness but you know does that mean that they're wrong to go and do that i don't fucking think so i know loads of people who have thinning hair and they go and they get um hair extensions to make their hair thicker and and it, it does put them in a better mood it makes them feel better about themselves like I I would never ever say to them oh you don't need to do that of course they don't but they might want to I think there's two main reasons why people who wear makeup wear makeup and those are to enhance and you know seduction falls under that and we're not even going to go into the fact that there's loads of studies to state that people who are perceived to be attractive and healthy and blah 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 do better in life from dating to jobs to criminal trials and this is regardless of ethnicity as well like all these research papers are available on the internet um i find it somewhat hilarious and very annoying when someone as beautiful as Demelia can kind of just i don't know forget her privilege maybe another reason people wear makeup is camouflage and it can help people with their social anxiety. This is where I would agree with Team Jamelia, like camp fuck Kim Kardashian. I think it is extremely important that we do teach young people and just people in general 
to accept certain truths about themselves and to not necessarily despise themselves for stuff that's out of their control. But again, I don't think the best way to do that is to tell people, oh, you shouldn't wear this because it's a waste of money. You should just be happy with yourself. Like when I was a teenager with acne, no one in the world could have offered me any sum of money or any prize to leave the house without makeup because that's just how I felt. I felt like all those spots shouldn't be on my face and you know they were not natural they were caused by hormonal imbalance lactose allergy you know they were painful they were really annoying and over the years I've realized that the knowledge that like 80% of people will experience acne in their lifetimes that doesn't really help someone in the throes of it because they have to kind of come to that place of self-love themselves they have to go through all that and learn about societal pressures and whatnot but um another thing is that when it comes to something like clear skin I don't think that's all just society telling us oh that's beautiful that's a beautiful thing to have like you should want that you should do anything to have that like I I don't believe that not only because I am a bisexual woman and I notice when someone has like really smooth gorgeous skin lovely lovely skin I've never met anyone who would look at gorgeous skin and go Ugh. human beings are drawn to certain things and they've shown this through scientific studies facial symmetry massive eyes thick glossy hair and yes the beauty industry is kind of built on these things Things, but you have to go back and look at the history of like how we came to where we're at now look at trends around the world in different tribes and look at how people you know like when it comes to like mate selection and anything like even the way we react to babies I was holding my cousin's gorgeous newborn baby the other the other day and was just stroking her smooth face and just thinking about how beautiful her face was and we have to acknowledge the fact that there is a reason why we all collectively can come together and agree that this person is objectively very attractive even if they're not our type you know even if we see beauty in a lot of different places even if like me you are so behind seeing people of all shapes and sizes and people with saggy boobs and people with vitiligo and just real human beings being represented everywhere I want that I think that is helping and will continue to help people to feel more at peace with their bodies and their faces and stuff the way that they naturally are but at the same time if someone wants to dye their grey hairs let them just because you don't want to dye your grey hair doesn't mean that you're better than these other people or you're more enlightened people need to get off their high horses with this stuff you can't just sit there and say to people well I'm happy with my stretch marks so you have to be happy with yours right now or you're part of the problem. By all means, normalize stretch marks. Every time I see someone doing that, I am I am the first one to be clapping my hands. But at the same time, I know people who, for example, have just given birth or have piled on weight because of depression and have stretch marks that they are not yet comfortable with. And it is not okay to just expect everyone to be in the same place as you are when it comes to their self-image. And it's just a very big, complicated, grey debate there's no black and white here and I it just annoys me I think when people kind of package their opinion up as the the only non-problematic opinion when you look at why people wear blush why people wear red lipstick so much of that is rooted in science and like I don't think it's a bad thing for someone to want to look their best and to be perceived in a certain way we're human beings and it's really fucking cool if you don't buy into any of this stuff I don't know it just kind of blows my mind that that people can be so lacking in empathy for others. We are in a place now that when people open up about their flaws and insecurities, those people are celebrated and they get the claps and stuff like that. And then there's also all the other people who will bully them and say mean things. But you know, I do think we are moving forward. However, yeah, there's no set line. A lot of people who are very wrapped up in social justice issues right now, they just love to come at someone and to demonize them. They love to sharpen those pitchforks, but then those same people will be super like, yas queen, if a man, you know, comes out wearing makeup because it's like against gender norms or whatever. But then, you know, when a woman wears makeup <laughs> on her face or her body, guess what? They're the same fucking thing. Um, but yeah, and then it's like, you think you're a feminist, but you're wearing makeup. This is where I want your opinions, my loves. This is where I want us to stop being so judgmental. This is where I want us to do better because these options 
aren't going anywhere. Body makeup has been around for years and years. It's obviously not going anywhere. False lashes and lippy and nail polish and high heels and nice clothes and hair dye. These things are options. Nobody is forced to spend their money on them or use them. You absolutely do not have to use body makeup. I'll wear body makeup, you know, at weddings, if I'm in a bikini maybe, just to kind of feel a bit more comfortable and to enjoy the day and not be thinking about people staring at marks that are on my skin, but I don't hate myself. Like most people, I wear eye makeup on my eyes, but I don't hate myself as soon as I wipe it off. Like this video if you liked it, please share it on social media or with a friend that might enjoy me and my channel, and thanks in advance for your insightful comments down below, and I'll see you again in another video very, very soon.